I wonder who really makes the best bait caster. In this video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on these three. Now, there's a bunch of different bait casters out there. It would take years. Well, it might not take years, but it would take a lot of videos to figure out which bait caster is the best bait caster out of all bait casters that exist. But in this video, I, I wanna give you my true honest opinion on these three right here. These are three reels I've used for a very long time. And I'm gonna rate them on four categories. Before I even get into this video, I wanna tell you exactly how I'm going to grade these reels. Now, for you guys that are engineering minds out there and a lot deeper than I am, if you're looking for a video that goes deep into the detail of the gears, how they're spun around into carbon fiber molecules and how the atmosphere pulls in a vacuum and turns the alternator into 16 foot pounds of drag, and all the technical specs, this ain't gonna be the video for you. This video right here that I'm about to show you is gonna rate these reels on four categories, and this is why I rate a reel. Usually, I don't care how many ball bearings is in the reel. I don't care if it was created in Korea. I don't care if it was created in Taiwan or Hawaii or freaking, I don't know, in lower Alabama. It doesn't matter to me. All I wanna know is these four things. Number one is durability, duh. Number two, Castability, and I'm not even sure we're going to do them in this order. Yeah, that's right. Castability. The paper is just too short. Looks. How does the reel look? Yes, it matters to me. This is a pretty important one. Line manage. Yes, that's right. Manage. I'm doing the best I can on the spelling. Just, just bear with you. And probably the most important for me when it comes to a bait caster is this one. How good does the thing feel? And what is the shape of the reel? What does it feel like in these manly hands that I got right here? Here are the three reels that we're gonna do today. One is this one. This is a casting Mega Jaws. I think you're gonna be surprised where this one ends up in these three. This one is the Lose Tournament Pro. I've used this one a bunch. If you've watched any of my tournament vlogs, you've seen this reel in a lot, well, probably just about all of them. And lastly, yeah, my box is kind of, that's how long I've had these reels. 13 Fishing Concept C2. You'll be interested to know how I grade this guy. It's got some good things about it, but one category I feel like it really takes. All right, the first reel that we're gonna dig into is this one right here, the Lose Tournament Pro. Let's start off with just the categories that I listed here. Number one, we're gonna talk about the feel and shape of this particular reel. Now, I gotta be honest with you, most of the Lose reels have a good feel and shape to them. What I mean, how does it feel in the palm of your hand? I know that probably seems petty to a lot of guys, but there's probably some good reels out there that I don't use because they just don't seem to, they just don't, eh, eh. and it's gonna feel good in my hand. This one, if I was rating how it feels, this means the grips on the handles, that means on the palm, how does it feel on the rod? You know, I've got it right here in my hand just for this test. If I put it on a rod, it may probably take up too much space, but how does it even feel on the rod? Let me say, I would give the loose on feel and shape a nine. It's pretty hard to beat how any of the loose feel, but in particular this Tournament Pro, this is a reel that I use primarily for shallow crane baits and I use it for spinner baits. This is a 6 8 to 1 gear ratio reel. I like a little bit slower reel for spinner baits, crane baits, sometimes even a chatter bait. But with a chatter bait, a lot of times I do like a little bit faster one just so I can keep up with the bait in case the fish comes at it with me. But for cranking and for a spinner bait, this is my number one reel to grab right here. Where would I rate this guy on line management, line management? Where would I rate this guy? So what I'm talking about on line management is how well is the spool to des design to use the pound test line that I use it the most for. So for this loose tournament pro, I'm going to probably the smallest I'm going to use on this reel is about 12 pound test. I don't think I've used anything smaller than 12 on this reel. And I'll use as big as 20. And I do feel like the spool can handle that big of a difference in line size fairly well. Some reels that I've used, they handle 10 or 12 pound tests really well. But then when I go to put 20, 25 on it, this spool isn't deep enough to control that much line. 
So that's what I mean by line management. How well does it hold it? How, how versatile is that spool? How well does it handle a drastic difference in line diameters? Line management, lose tournament pro. I don't want to give anything a 10. I'm gonna probably give it a nine as well. It's pretty freaking good. Looks, I don't know. You let me know. What do you think about the looks on this reel? I have to give it pretty good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. No gaudy colors, black and gold is timeless. It will always be in style. There's nothing crazy going on here. There's really trendy, not a lot of excess material for no reason, just for looks. I feel like every curve, every button is functional and not wasted space. I appreciate that. Oh, you know my favorite thing about a lose too? I didn't mention this. I'm not sure where it goes. It's the little keeper. I'm pretty sure that's a patented keeper that they put in there. Can you see that? I can hook my lures on there. It doesn't even matter if I have a keeper on my rod. The keeper works regardless. It flips in when you're fishing. You need to put it all on there. I don't think anybody has that. I'm pretty sure that's a patent deal. Looks, I got to give them a looks. Like we got we to gotta give them a hard time on something. I'm going to give Lose at eight on looks really probably could give them higher than that but we can't we, we got to be fair here okay here's a big one durability now we know lose is a trusted brand we've had these things forever i mean my dad has some old lose children's if you guys know what that is let me know in the comment section that was the old david fritz special i actually fished with the lose children when i was a children can you say that why was it called a lose children by the way I have no idea, but on durability, I've been using this reel since about 2020 is when I think I started using lose. And I mean, honestly, it's pretty good. Now there are some lose reels that I'm a little bit like, uh, eh, this one ain't that great, but this particular one, the, the tournament pro is pretty good. It's still not at the top of the list when it comes to dur durability. I would probably have to give this reel a seven when it comes to durability. It's good. It's just it ranks so high in all the other categories. I can't. Yeah, I, a seven is a good score. Compared to the other ones, I'm going to say a seven is going to be a good score for this reel. What do you think? Let me know. Let's talk about the castability. <laughs> Let's talk about the castability. Remember what I tell you about this? How well does this reel throw lighter lures, balsa crankbaits, shad wraps, even jerk baits? Baits that can be a little weird to throw. I've done quite a bit of balsa plug fishing with this bait, handmade crankbait fishing, and it throws those baits really well. So overall, I'd have to rank it pretty high when it comes to castability. How well does it cast little bitty lures? And then, you know, it, obviously it does handle big lures good because if you've got enough spool uh, capacity, enough line capacity to use bigger line. If I got bigger line, I can use bigger baits. So I would have to give, rank it pretty high. When it comes to castability, I'm gonna give this guy eight. I don't have much to complain about here. So overall, the Lose Tournament Pro ACS ACB, it is one of my favorite reels. Okay, we gotta talk about this one right here. This one, this particular reel, I think you're gonna be surprised at what I think about this reel and where it ranks against these other two. I already know what y'all are thinking. When y'all saw this in the first two seconds of the video, you saw I had a cast king. You're like, why does he have that reel up against these other two establishment type reels? I've been using this one a, a lot this summer. And as a matter of fact, I, I use it down in Florida.
Well, let's just go. Let me show you exactly what I think about this reel. You probably won't believe what, where I'm gonna rank this guy. I can tell within three seconds whether a reel is something that I wanna fish with or it's something that I don't need at all. I know, it don't take very long. I'm gonna be honest with you, when it comes to the feel and shape, Caskeen, bro, y'all killed it on this one. This one feels really good. It fits into the palm of my hand really good. It's not too bulky. Sometimes the, I don't know what you call this, the reel seat, the reel bar, whatever you wanna call it, can sit too far from the base of the reel, making the reel feel real clunky in your hand. It doesn't feel real grinding. You, when I'm throwing a chatterbait, if I'm a slow rolling a spinnerbait, or even just slowly cranking a spinnerbait, Sometimes a cheap reel, you just hear it. You, you really, if you know, when we got a chesty on as YouTubers, you know exactly what you're dealing with with a reel. If you hear it going, <laughs> sounds like your washing machine or something like that, it ain't a good reel. This reel has none of that. It doesn't have that grinding noise. It feels, I guess I'm getting into the other categories, but it feels really good to me. It's light. It fits into the palm of my hand. It has a high end feel and shape to it. The feel and shape of the casking, gotta give it to him. Knocked it out of the park. I wouldn't give him a perfect 10, but I feel very comfortable giving them a nine. Feels really good in my hand. It has a high end feel to it. That's kind of gross. I probably shouldn't have did that. Well, let's talk about the looks. What do you think on the looks on the Mega Jaws? Pretty good. I like the purple accents. I, I think there could be a little bit more left to be desired on the outside of the palm here. I don't know what exactly that is. I feel actually guilty saying that, mainly because I like pretty aesthetically bland reels, and then they gave me exactly what I say I like, just a black reel. Their shapes and stuff look good. The purple, I'm all for it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I would love to see something else a little cuter right here. But overall, I mean, the looks, they don't leave anything to be complained for me to complain about other than maybe you could have did a little bit more. I don't know, but then that feels real childish. I don't know. Okay, the looks, the black, the purple, the way everything looks, I'd have to give this guy a seven. Here we go. Castability. This is one where I really probably need to use it for a little bit longer to give a really good, thorough review on. I've done mostly flipping and short target oriented fishing. Not a lot of bombing it across a flat, trying to get a bunch of distance. Not a, honestly, not a lot of using fluorocarbon too. Some reels handle braid better than fluorocarbon. I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with the spool. Maybe it has something to do with the brakes. You got to ask somebody that knows a lot more than I do. All I know, if I pick up a reel and if it throws good, I tell you that it throws good. If it don't throw good, I probably don't ever use it again. Well, let's give it another lucky number seven. The casting that I have done with it, I have had no issues. The brakes work really good for me for what I've been doing it. Have I taken it to throw a square bill? Not really, no, because I haven't really been throwing a square bill for the last three months. Have I thrown any balsa plugs with this reel? No, I haven't, because I haven't really been throwing any balsa plugs for the last couple, two or three months. Have I thrown a jerk bait with it, which is notorious for being hard to throw in the wind a lot of times, especially if it's certain brands? I haven't done it with this reel yet. So on that fact alone, I'm just gonna have to give it a seven just because, and that's on me, that's not on you, Cass King. I still like this reel, and we're going to get some time in it on this fall. Line management. All right, so the line management on the casking. Remember, I just mentioned I haven't did a lot of bomb casting chatter baits and lipless crankbaits across flats in the last three to four months. It just hasn't been a factor in the fishing that I've done. So on line management, my experience so far with this particular reel has been mostly flipping throwing a spinner bait and doing some Texas rigging. A little bit of casting, but mostly flipping the bait at isolated targets. And sometimes that is a good indication of how well a reel handles line, mainly because I'm using bigger line. And bigger line can be a hard to deal with. When you start putting 25 pound test fluorocarbon on a spool, sometimes it can either be the line is not that really, not really that good, or sometimes it can be the reel it just doesn't hold the line correctly. So 
fairly limited experience with this reel when it comes to line management and just for that reason alone i gotta give it a number eight but i have high hopes for this reel there's no reason that it's not as good as the top two in its class i think i like it probably better than i probably shouldn't say that yet okay here we go the one that i know just about everybody's probably thinking about is will this reel hold up because i think a lot of us have a preconceived notion about casking and it being a cheap non-competitive fishing reel for people that are just starting to get into fishing and honestly if that were the case 10 years ago and i was doing a review on this reel five years ago that might be true i can tell that something has happened within the company and they're serious about making a tournament grade high competition high stakes fishing reel dude this thing is legit it feels good it fishes good it sets on the rod the right way it i can tell you can just tell when you pick it up i challenge you if you can find one in the store if you just need to order one online take a chance on it I, i'm liking what i'm seeing from Cascade. shimano daiwa which i perceive to be the two leaders of the pack when it comes to fishing reels you better watch out for this company you better watch out it's serious it's not play anymore they're coming for you the cast king mega jaws what i'm going to give it when it comes to durability it's kind of hard to give it a good rating because i've only used the rod the reels since about june may or june of this year so it's not fair for me to give it a super high rating but i am going to keep it right there in the middle with the seven i don't know what they're going to do so it's not fair for me to give it an eight or nine but for the time that i've used it you can hear this reel doesn't have any crazy grinding sounds or anything like that i fish probably 40 hours 30 to 40 hours a week i'm usually on the water about three days a week and in this time of the year it's long days on the water and you can tell i only have one of these i don't have six of them I put all my time on this one and it sounds that's just line that you hear hitting it pretty smooth I, I i can't complain but will it sound this way next year after i've put 600 hours on it a thousand hours only time will tell and time hasn't met up with the casking yet lucky number 13. now of the three reels that i'm testing today the lose and the 13 by far i have caught the most fish on and used for the most extensive amount of time i've spent a lot of time with these reels i did work with 13 for about three years two and a half or three years my job was primarily to help develop the hard bait category but preps props or what not props not preps what is it perks perks of the job working at 13 was how i got to get a lot of their reels I even got some of their rods. This is the concept C2 from 13 Fishing. Now, first of all, I like this reel a lot. It does have a few things that I do not like about it at all. Let's get into it. The feel and shape of a 13 concept C2. One important thing to know about any of the 13 reels is they all, as far as I know, have the exact same frame. What I'm talking about is all this white area is the same whether it's an A, a B, uh, they don't have a B, do they? A A, a C, uh, the, in, the Inception has a D, different frame, but I know the concept A, the black reel, and the concept C, same exact frame. So they feel the same. Now, this feel did take me some getting used to it's a lot flatter beveled edge on this side so it fits in your hand a little differently it's not a bad thing but it doesn't feel like the other two reels that i just gave a review on it's a lot flatter and a little bit taller this way at least it feels like it's tall i haven't taken a caliper to it i'm literally just telling you what i feel okay but it feels bigger and taller and it's definitely a lot flatter on this edge right here that could be good for some of you guys for all of you some of the other people it's going to feel different it's like sneakers some people like reeboks and somebody like nikes and somebody likes brooks a lot of y'all can wearing them new balances that all the dads wear where you cut the grass and they look terrible okay so feel and shape 
out of the three, I would probably maybe rank it the, I don't want to say the lowest, but it does have the most unique shape. That's not a bad thing. This is just where I'm ranking it. I'm going to give it a seven on the feel and shape. And still, the handles and the knobs feel really good. I do feel like the real handles is a little further away from the reel. Sometimes a real handle can be a little closer to the body. Some of them are further away. I feel like this one is a good ways away from the real body. Let me know what you think about that. I could be completely hallucinating. Number seven, lucky seven on feel and shape. All right, this is where the C2 falls on his face for me, is the looks. Not sure. Now, this reel right here I've used for probably a year and a half. It's already grimy. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to have a white reel. Ricky, I hope it's not you. Ricky is a good friend of me, friend of mine. I love you, Ricky. I hope we get to work together again. Matter of fact, I hope we get to build the best stuff in the world the fishing industry's ever seen at some point. Now, why it looks cool, but poor as a devil to keep clean. Secondly, I don't like bright colored rods or reels. If I'm throwing a jerk bait, I don't want you to see my giant sword just swinging in the air from across the Lake Okeechobee. I don't want to see that, man. So the bright colored reels, I like bright accents, like how Caskeen does the purple. Uh, you may have add a little green accents I'm okay with, but an entire brightly colored white reel, man, you fall flat on my face. This thing is brought me, you can see it. I'm getting ready to sell a lot of reels now to get some new ones for next year. And this thing looks like it's just been drugged through a freaking mud bath. So I, that, it's gonna get the worst score when it comes to looks just on the fact that we use white and that don't make a whole bunch of sense. Now, the Concept C2 does this job probably better than just about any reel that I've ever used, line management. And what I mean by this, it has the deepest spool of any baitcaster I've ever used. Now, a lot of people will say, well, I don't want a deep spool because now it means I waste a bunch of line. Well, I'm sorry, Jacob. It's easy to fill this up with some extra mono, it's easy to fill it up with electrical tape, but when I got 20, 25 pound test that heavy, big diameter line, man, I hate when I don't have enough space on there to put a couple hundred yards. I don't know how much, how many yards do we put? 80 yards? I don't even know how many yards we put on a, on a bait caster. But sometimes I just don't have enough room with these really shallow spools and this spool is really deep. Also, because it's deep in the way the, the spool is beveled, I feel like I don't get as many backlashes with it. It handles line really good. And that seems to work good when you're using a heavy lure and you're heaving it a long ways like big swim baits. Because I feel like the spool is spinning so fast that you need a different way to contain the line when it's leaving the reel. I don't know. That's probably way over my head. I'm sure Ricky could tell you exactly what's going on there. But I feel like this reel handles line very, very well. Big line and small line. Now that reel right there, I've done everything with from light crank baits to throwing a Texas rig, swimming worms, swim jigs, chatter baits, top waters, jerk baits, football jigs, weightless deals, four faces, sonar baits, like minnows baits and stuff. Yes, on a bait caster, I've used this. Uh, yes, I've done that before and I've used this reel to do it. You can watch my YouTube vlogs and you'll see this reel show up occasionally on that one. So line management, I got to give the concept C a nine, dude. It does it really good. This spool and this setup is all across all the series, the A's, the C's, and the Z's. And they knocked it out of the park when it comes to line management. It does that really well. How about castability? Now, with this guy, the Concept C2, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't expect it to, to perform that well with castability. And particularly, just for me, I use a lot of small crankbaits. You can watch any of my tournament vlogs and you'll see I'm using square bills a bunch. I'm using handmade plugs a bunch. I throw a jerk bait quite a bit. Notorious lures for being a little bit of a, a, a butthole to throw in the wind. Lipless crankbaits can be a little bit of a trouble too, even though they're heavy. If you get them in the wind, they can be a pain. You can get some backlashes in them. Concept C2, like it just, it, it casts really well. The braking system is inside. I like how they have it numbered 
key you see that i'm not sure if it's going to focus they have the magnets numbered right now i have it on the two setting the one is a little bit too free for me sometimes i even use it on three very rarely use four five and six so I like that. I like the way that works. Let me know what type of brakes those are. Is it centrifugal or is, yeah, I guess it's centrifugal brakes. I don't know. I never, I struggle to even say that word. Don't really care what kind of brakes you call them. All I want to know is do they work and do they let my, can I cast with them? But I'm sure somebody in the comment section is going to tell you exactly what they are. But this is how you adjust them. The other two reels that I use, they have a dial on the palm. This one, pop it open, bop, all your essentials are right there in there not going to fall out like how the old shimano's used to do with the remember you had those little red tabs in there with the shimano's and they fall out i hated i lost so many of those joints over the years this cast this braking system is by far superior they did an excellent job on that and for that reason castability i got to give this guy a nine i mean they got it it's easy to adjust them i feel like those must be some of the favorite brakes that i like because i, I like the way this braking system works better than let's say the dial system that sometimes i get messed up when my kids come in here and then they do this and then i go to use my reel and i'm backlashing first thing in the morning uses some really intense language with this guy my kids ain't quite as smart enough yet to go in here and pop this open brooks probably could because he's that kind of kid and go in there and mess with my brakes i really like that system a lot i wish everybody would adopt that Durability. durability i'm not sure what price point this guy comes in but i want to say it's in the close to the 200 dollars mark or better i have had a couple failures with the 13 fishing reels I've had one where it just sounds like I've got a freaking 6.7 Ford Power Stroke diesel in it. When I'm cranking, it's just... I feel like it's a main... I feel like this is a reel that you have to maintenance quite a bit. Somebody said, well, sure, you got to maintenance all reels. <laughs> Not really. I've got Shimano's that I've had since literally since 07 08 that i have not touched these reels i've used sometimes a year sometimes three years and occasionally you get a good one you got to go with occasionally i get failures so i am going to have to get even though this reel does perform so well in so many areas I do think it leaves a tremendous amount on the table when it comes to durability so with that being said i have to give the 13 concept c2 a six on durability <sighs> hurts my feeling to do this because i i mean i'm just giving you the honest truth it's not going to be a reel that i feel like you're going to have 10 years from now it's a serious fisherman you're probably going to have that that's a three to four year reel hardcore tournament tour level fisherman probably two years to what you're gonna get out of it just my honest opinion there's no facts to back that up somebody's gonna come in and say i've had my c2s for 26 years you got it buddy thumbs up you're the man which one do you think wins the shootout i would have to put the loser on top but this does better in every category when it comes to the score but i would have to say a close second if not right up there i mean if you got if the lose is here the casting is just right there mainly because this is a new company mainly because they've come so far in such a short period of time you got to give them credit they're doing they're building something that it is going to be a great product and i think it's going to keep improving i will say this you wouldn't make a bad choice by using any of those three reels that's why i have i wouldn't if i've got it at this point as much as it's on the line for me, it's probably at least a little bit decent. I don't think you'd make a bad choice by using any of those reels. If you've got any of them, feel free to put it in the comments what your experience has been with any of those three reels or what your favorite reel is.